In March of 2021, Gearbox released the Director's Cut DLC for Borderlands 3, and alongside this came the Diamond Armory, where players could spend the new Diamond Key currency to unlock basically the biggest vault that they've seen since launch, with a literal wall of legendaries. But it wasn't long before players noticed that something peculiar was up with the new Diamond Armory. It appeared that, albeit unintentionally, Gearbox had let the Diamond Armory loot pools draw from a wider array of pools which would then result in some unintended loot drops. I'm sure you're all very very aware of the 7th sense hybrid which could randomly spawn in there which was a huge moment for Borderlands 3 as it was one of the first true hybrids reminiscent of the old ones back in Borderlands 1. But interestingly enough there was another gun that popped up into people's field of view and it was none other than the Malawan P2P Networker SMG. Now let's use some behind the scenes knowledge to kind of clear up some confusion on what this gun is. So this is a gun which had been in the game to my knowledge since the Malawan takedown. It appeared to be an early version of the redistributor Hyperion SMG and at one point it appears that the gun was swapped over to the redistributor and they kind of just left this in the game because it was unfinished. Sometimes it's just easier to leave something than remove it I guess because this was just kind of left dormant sitting in the files. Of course it was already present in the ISNDB which means there was no need to go through all of that trouble just to take the gun out so it was easier just to make it not drop or at least that would be my assumption. The gun was not properly scaled, meaning it did not deal very good damage at all, and also it had a broken weapon mode name, which is something which, again, why would you fix if it's not going to be part of the game? Now, once again, to my knowledge, it's not known why this got cut from the game, but if any Gearbox employees want to clear this up in the comments, or even on Twitter, Epic Energy, please let me know. But this would not stop the Diamond Armory from pulling this gun into the item pool and then utilizing it where players could get this thing dropped. Now, in a later hotfix, Gearbox would remove the P2P networker, stating that they would add it back in the future, but I'm not really sure why they would say this, unless their plans were to make it a functioning gun, but obviously, because the redistributor existed, it just didn't really make sense to do that. So, despite what Gearbox said in the hotfix, they never actually got around to fixing the gun, nor did they ever put it back into Borderlands 3, and that is the story of the P2P networker. Rest in peace.